Now, there are some other statements that we can look at to see whether they're fact or opinion. Um, for example, Corvette owners like to drive fast. This one's a slightly tricky one because when you first look at it, it looks like it's got a value judgment in it uh, that Corvette owners like to drive fast. But this is actually, believe it or not, something you can go out and prove. What you can do is you could conceivably go out and make a survey of all Corvette owners and ask them, do you like to drive fast? And you will find either it's a fact that most Corvette owners like to drive fast, or maybe it's a fact that they don't. But this is not an opinion, it's actually a fact because you can go out and prove whether Corvette owners do indeed like to drive fast. Um, or we may have drivers should take extra lessons before buying a fast car. So what we have here now is we may talk about starting talking about Corvette owners like to buy to drive fast. Now we're saying something that we have our should in here. A should, remember, that makes it an opinion. Uh, the person who has this statement thinks that um, it should be the case that people should buy or should take lessons. Um, this actually goes to, I don't know how many of you watch these shows on television with the uh, traffic videos that show spectacular crashes. And one of the phrases from there that I like is, uh, here's a high performance car with a low performance driver. So this would be something that we'd say, uh, drivers should take some lessons so they aren't low performance drivers in a high performance car. So this is an opinion. Here's another one that's a little bit tricky. All computers can do the same types of functions. When we look at this statement, once again, it's something that we can actually go and test. We could go and look at all of the computers in the world and see uh, either, yes, they can all do the same types of things. They can all surf the internet. They can all play games. They can all do word processing. Or you may look around and see computers that can't do all of those things. But either way, it's something you can prove. So that makes it a fact. Even if it's somewhat of a fuzzy fact, it is a fact that you can go and test. You could look at every single computer in the world and see whether they can indeed do the same types of functions. Here's another one. I won't get robbed again. We look at this and what we see if we're looking at our flags for what is an opinion, we have a prediction. Since we have a prediction, that means it's going to be an opinion just automatically. Uh, this person is predicting uh, that he or she won't get robbed again. Um, actually, this particular statement came from an essay a student wrote uh, where his apartment had been burglarized three times. And so he went out and uh, got himself a gun and took some lessons in how to use it. And he got himself a dog and he got a burglar alarm system. And by the end of his essay, he's, uh, you have this vision of him. He's sitting in his living room with his gun in his lap and his dog at his feet. And he's just waiting for the SOBs to come back. Uh, so anyhow, but it's his opinion that the SOBs aren't going to rob him ever again. It may be a fairly solid opinion, but it is an opinion because it is a prediction. So this is some important stuff to know. When you're reading, when you're evaluating the stuff that you're reading, you want to make sure uh, to distinguish 
things that are facts that you can go out and prove or you can look up, things that are opinions that are just simply what somebody thinks or believes. And so the solidness of those uh, is not objective. So when you're reading, watch out for those differences.